Hi everyone, I am CB Prabhakaran and welcome to my session on Gestural Emacs mode. A bit about me, I have been working as a Haskell engineer at FP Complete for the last 4 years. I am based out of India. I occasionally blog at my website pcb.in where you can find more information about me. I have been using Emacs for more than a decade now. I help in the maintenance of the Terraform client for LSP mode. I have also authored DAL mode and Rego mode which are the major mode for the respective languages. Before jumping into the demo of the Emacs package, I would like to give a brief introduction about just files on what it is. I will also try to compare it with make files as it takes a lot of inspiration from it. So what you see currently in the buffer is a sample just file. If you have previously used make files, you would be able to see that there's a quite a bit of similarity between them. Anything that starts with hash is a documentation comment. You can see that I have the first recipe which is named as default. So if you run the just executable without any arguments, by default it's gonna run the first recipe. This recipe's definition calls the just command. In turn, the two arguments, namely list and unsorted, which basically asks just to list down all the recipes in an unsorted order. Each line of each recipe is executed by a fresh shell. And that's pretty much is the high level overview of getting started to use this tool. This tool assumes the presence of a shell, which is bash in most GNU Linux systems, but you can configure it to explicitly use any specific shell you have in mind. Let me in fact go and try executing the first recipe. I will first execute it without any arguments, which will force it to run the first recipe. As you can see, it listed all the recipes. Now I can actually execute a particular recipe by passing an explicit recipe name. Let me execute the hello recipe now, which will basically print hello world. And it works as expected. As you can see, that's all is required to get started with this tool. You create a file name just file in a directory, define some recipes and then run them via the just executable. Note that there are various other features in just file. You can define variables, mark some variables to be exported as environment variables, have optional parameters that can be passed to recipe. You can also set up dependency between recipes and also write scripts within a recipe in a language of your choice. I won't be going into the details, but I encourage you to go through the very helpful manual page to learn more about it. Also, let me compare it with make files. I do think it's kind of unfair to compare both the tools since make is a build automation tool whereas just goal is a task runner and since just doesn't try to be a build system it can avoid the associated complexity that comes with the tool like make. Also there is one nice historical fact about just the initial version of just relied on make command being available so it was basically a glorified wrapper around it but it was removed and just file doesn't have that dependency anymore. If you are using make as a task runner, then you would have to use something called phony targets. I don't want to go into the details, but make files have good reason for why they need something like that. But since just file is not a build system, it doesn't have to deal with them. Also the error message and user experience of this tool in my opinion is better. To show you a concrete example, just file errors out by default if you have duplicate recipes. This is in contrast with make where I believe it prints out a warning about it, but still executes the target action. Just file also gives you the ability to easily create scripts written in any language within a recipe. My personal opinion is that if you are using make file as a task runner, you might want to check out just file to see if it will suit your workflow. With that, I would move on to just till, which is basically an Emacs package for driving just files. I started writing this tool around a year ago when my usage of just files increased. The objective of the tool is to reduce the usage of the CLI and drive the execution of the recipes natively within the editor. Let me take you back to the just file which we saw previously. This time we will drive it within the editor itself instead of executing commands via vterm as done previously. So the idea is you either open the just file or any other file in the directory that doesn't matter actually. 
Once you do that, you call the just till command. Now, as you can see, it lists down all the recipes along with the description if present. You can move on to different recipe by your usual key binding. And for executing a specific recipe, you have to press the E key binding and that will run the recipe and show its output on a special buffer named just, which is built on top of the compilation mode available on Emacs. Let me actually try executing the hello recipe, which we previously executed in VTerm. And as you can see, it executed the recipe and the hello world output is visible in the just buffer. You can also see that there is other metadata like when it started executing and when did it finish executing. If a recipe execution fails, it will also change the color and print the corresponding ex exit code. Let me actually show you by modifying the hello recipe and making it exit. And as you can see, it clearly indicates the error message now. And that is a pretty much a good high level overview of how to execute recipes using this Emacs extension. If I press the hutch or the question mark key, it will display the various ways to drive it. Now, as you can see, you can pass various options to it. I find the dry run option effective whenever I have to print the recipe contents without actually executing the recipe. There are also various ways to execute it. You can use Emacs's E shell to execute it by pressing the capital E key binding. Let me try executing the hello recipe again, but this time via Emacs's E shell. As you can see now, I have an E shell instance where it executed the just hello recipe. You can also directly go to the recipe line by pressing the return key. So let's say if I want to go to the recipe build app, all I have to do is press the return key and it will go to the just file with the proper line. You can also re-execute the same recipe from the output just buffer. I find this very helpful when iterating on certain things. In my day job, I often have to work with Kubernetes cluster and I would have to write resource manifest files for application. And having the ability to run the recipes while iterating on the project is very useful in my opinion. Let me actually show you an example of what I'm talking about. Let me run the build app recipe now, which will basically build the manifest and print it out. Now let me open one of the application file. I will open the ingress YAML file. So I have this YAML file which I'm working on and I also have this output buffer which is basically the output of the build app recipe. Now I can basically go through this buffer and see if everything is all right. But I find out that I didn't want the host name to be Emacs 2022. I wanted it to be just Emacs so I can go and fix it in my YAML file. And then I can go on to the output buffer and basically just rerun the command by pressing the G key binding. As you can see, it executed the same recipe again and I can see that the host name is indeed fixed now. I find this kind of workflow very convenient while I'm working on a project. Another way of interacting with the gestural extension is by using the interactive function gestec exec recipe in there. The use case of this function is executing a one-off recipe while you are working on something else. Let me show you an example of it. As you can see, it shows me a dropdown of various recipes available in the gest file. You can choose any particular one and execute the corresponding recipe. In this case, I will choose the build app recipe and we will get the output in the just buffer, which should be similar to what we saw previously. So yeah, this was a quick introduction to what just file is and how to drive them within Emacs. Hopefully it was helpful and it would encourage you to use just files in your workflow. Thank you for allowing me to present. I am available in IRC if you have any questions.